if I'm not mistaken, you are the first NFL Pro Hall of Famer that was inducted that started their career in the 21st century. Am I correct? Oh, man, I never thought about that. Well, it is. Now you're finding out. That's pretty major. That's You did your <laughs> research. That's pretty impressive. And I was I in awe of your prolific career. I'm not joking. Thank you so much. But yeah, you are holding the record for the first and only NFL Hall of Famer, just so you know. And he's finding out today right here at LATV Fan Nation. We are the new kings in this fight tonight with our name lit. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Nothing major, just me and Lenine Tomlinson taking a five minute break from all the madness. It is so hot today, and I'm sure that you need this break. Am I right? I do. The kids are wearing me out. You know, of course, all the kids out there, they want to uh, stick me or they want me to stick them or, you know, so it's fun. I don't blame them. They are interacting with one of the best running backs of all time in NFL history. That's something major for them. Am I right? Well, I would hope so. I, you know, it's, it's an honor to have that type of influence on the young people. Um, you know, I was once their age looking up to people like Emmitt Smith and Barry Sanders and Walter Payton, who were my favorites. So I get it. In fact, at their age, I had the opportunity when I was their age, I should say, to go to Jay Novacek's camp, who played for the Dallas Cowboys, and I met Emmitt Smith for the first time. And it really changed my life. I have a lot of friends who are NFL hardcore fans, and they say, without a doubt, you are the best running back of all time. You have a slew of records under your name. You were actually named uh, NFL MVP in 2006. You are the first person to have three NFL consecutive <laughs> touchdowns in three games. You're the first person. And I think you also have a different uh, track record for the most amount of touchdowns, 150 in 137 games. That's that's not an easy feat. Uh, not too shabby, I guess, you know. <laughs> but, that's uh, pretty humble coming from you. <laughs> well, I mean, I had a great time, you know, entertaining our, our fans. And, um, you know, we have a great fan base, obviously, in, a, in the NFL. But, you know, we're, we're inspired by our fans, you know. And so all the times I went to that stadium, I saw 21 jerseys and Charger jerseys. It motivated me. It made me want to run harder. And it made me want to win for them, you know, because I know the passion of fans. The NFL would not be where it's at right now if had it not been for the community. And that's why today it's such an important time to honor that aspect and to bring them together and to have athletes like you set the tone, set an example for them to get inspired if they want to pursue this professionally. And if not, it also applies to different facets of their life. And I think that's something that you instill really hardly, that work ethic. And your mom is also responsible for that. I saw the documentary, Lorraine. I fell in love with her. Can you tell her that she's done an amazing job raising you? I, I certainly will <laughs> tell her. And, you know, she, the one thing I can say about my mom, and I, I think now that I'm a parent, you know, you, you find your kids' dreams and you nurture those dreams. And that's one thing that my mom did so well. Like she understood that that was my passion and she did everything in her power to make sure that she didn't kill my dream. And that's what we're doing here in the community. New Era has done a great job, you know. Putting Shout out to New Era because they made this interview possible. I love New Era. They made this lovely interview with LT happen here for Fan Nation. And like you said, you are cultivating that dream in them. You are planting that seed by coming here today. If I'm not mistaken, you are the first NFL Pro Hall of Famer that was inducted, that started their career in the 21st century. Am I correct? Oh, man, I never thought about that. Well, it is. Now you're finding out. That's pretty major. That's, that's You did your <laughs> research. That's pretty impressive. And I, I was in awe of your prolific career. I'm not joking. Thank you so much. But yeah, you are holding the record for the first and only NFL Hall of Famer, just so you know. And he's finding out today right here at LATV Fan Nation. <laughs> Finally, LT, where can we find you on social media? Yeah, so Twitter, you can give me uh, at LT underscore 21. And then uh, I just got on Instagram, so LT underscore 21 official. 
LT underscore 21 official. We will make sure to follow you and also feel free to follow us on LATV at LATV Networks and our website, LATV.com, to check out all our episodes from this new amazing season here in the heart of Los Angeles. LT, thank you so much for being on the show. One last question. What is the one thing that you want kids to take away from this beautiful event? You know, obviously they're getting some good training right now. And really it's all about trying hard and doing your best in anything that you do, whether it's on the football field, or off the football field, or in the classroom. We want that work ethic for them to understand that in order to um, to achieve anything, you must put the work in. And that's one of the four agreements. Do anything the best possible way that you can do, regardless of what it is. LT, I think our five minute break is over. We gotta get back into the chaos. Right. We'll see you soon.